Yo, what is up guys? Masterly Vlogs here, and um, sorry about not putting up the video on Thursday like I said I would. I've been doing that a lot lately, but the thing is, I was totally sick. I know I get sick a lot, but I was totally sick. Like, in my bed all day, feeling terrible sick, okay? I'm still sort of a little sick, but I'm feeling a lot better now, so um, <clears throat> yeah, I gotta do the video today. So, today I'm doing the, uh, the picks, my picks, for the, um, the NFL, um, playoffs week two. So, the Steelers were out last week, and I'm like, come on, seriously, I love the Steelers, as you probably already know. But seriously, the Steelers, come on. The Ravens, you lost against your arch rivals. Oh, I'm so upset about that. But the good news is, the Colts made it. But the bad news is, they're playing against the Broncos. So, yeah. Um, as we speak, the Ravens and the Patriots are playing. Um, the Ravens are winning 14-6 to in the first quarter. So, that looks like it could be a good game, though, as well as the Cowboys and Packers game. But, let's see, um, the Ravens and Patriots. I think, since the Ravens have such a bad offensive line right now, it's just all banged up. The Patriots, I think, can take advantage of that. They can get a few sacks, you know. I haven't seen any of the game yet because I've been busy and stuff, but I don't know how many sacks they have or anything, but I'm assuming that the Patriots can get a few sacks this game, maybe one or two, maybe three. Um, But if I had to pick a winner, pick a winner. <laughs> pick a winner. Yeah, in a random joke. Okay, Um, if I had to pick a team to win... The Patriots, Tom Brady led. The Ravens, Joe Flacco led. Steve Smith versus Steven. I mean, not Steven. Is, is Danny I mean, I don't even know who's on the Patriots right now because it's just so random. Um, But I think the Patriots can win this one just because the Ravens' offensive line is so terrible. And then, you know, on the Patriots' defense, they have, you know, Gerard Mayo. They have Vince Wilfork. They have all these people that can easily bring pressure, you know? And since the Ravens' offensive line is so bad, it'll be really hard for the Ravens to keep, you know, non-sacks. So I think the Patriots can win this one. Next, Cowboys and Packers. Um, This looks like it could be a good game. I'm not 100% sure if uh, DeMarco's playing. Because I haven't really been keeping up. I've been so sick. I haven't really had, you know, been paying attention to any of the NFL stuff. Thing is, the Packers, they've been doing really well. And my teacher, he's a friend, he's a big fan of the Packers. Of course, so he says the Packers are going to win the Super Bowl. Which, it's quite possible. Aaron Rodgers is just, like, the best quarterback. Maybe behind Peyton Manning or something. But Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers are both elite, top-tier quarterbacks. Thing is, the Packers, you know, they have Randall Cobb and Jordy Nelson, the great receiver duo. And then they have Eddie Lacy. <sighs> Sorry, I'm so tired. Oh. And then the Cowboys, DeMarco, Dez, who I think just got injured. I think Dez got injured. Sorry if I'm totally saying stuff that's wrong, because I'm really tired today and I don't feel good. And I haven't been keeping up on the NFL, but... I'm pretty sure that Dez got injured. So, if Dez did get injured, I think the Packers can definitely win. And if DeMarco's not playing, then the Packers are just going to dominate, you know? But the Packers, Randall Cobb and Jordy Nelson, a great receiver duo. I think, and, and Tony Romo, if he pulls some sort of Tony Romo-esque thing at the fourth quarter, trying to be clutch and they throw the pick six or something, you know? Aaron Rodgers doesn't do that. He just simply doesn't do that. The Packers can definitely win. If if all it might even be a blowout, but the Packers I think can win this one. Panthers and Seahawks. Seahawks all the way. Totally Seahawks. Um definitely no other way. Seahawks, definitely. Um The great defense versus, you know, 
the Panthers not so good offense. Kelvin Benjamin is like the only good guy on that team. He's not he's just a rookie. Versus, you know, the Legion of Boom, Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas, Byron Maxwell, um, Cam Chancellor, all these people. I don't think the Panthers can do any offense versus that defense, you know? It's just, I don't think so. But who knows, the Panthers might pull an upset or whatever, but... Now for our final game, the Colts and Broncos. As much as I want to say the Colts are going to win because I'm a big fan of the Colts, the Broncos, I think, are just going to take over that game. <sighs> so tired. Um, I definitely think that the Colts will be able to take over. I mean, the, the Broncos will be able to take over that game, 100%. As much as I want to say that the Colts will win, I have to say the Broncos just because... I don't think that the Colts can go against the great defense and great offense of the Broncos, you know? Vontae Davis is, like, the only bright spot on the Colts' defense now that Robert Mathis is out. Is he still out? I don't know. I think he was out for the season, so. Yeah, Vontae Davis is, like, the only bright spot on the Colts' defense, whereas the Broncos, you know, they have Von Miller, they have DeMarcus Ware, they have Bradley Roby, they have all these people. And on the offense, you know, Peyton Manning, obviously, Demarius Thomas, Julius Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders. It's a clear-cut win, but who knows? I'm hoping, of course, that the Colts will be able to, it's like, pull a huge upset and dominate the game, but... That's not but a dream, if you may say. <laughs> so, yeah, Broncos over Colts, Seahawks over Panthers, Packers over Cowboys, and Patriots over Ravens. So, yeah, there are my week 19 picks, you know, the, the what's it called? The playoffs week 2 picks. So, thanks. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe. Thanks, Master Live Vlogs.